so uh, well, let's start the theory session of this so that is the basics of robotronics part one so what we are going to learn in this is the basics of electronic components that is led resistor battery switch and then what is breadboard and its construction and how to develop the circuit to make led on off with a switch using batteries and resistor on tinkercad software so we'll understand the complete tinkercad software also so uh, let's start with the LED. So what is LED? So full form of LED is a light emitting diode. So it is a diode which is emitting a light. Okay. So what is diode basically? Diode means it is a semiconductor device which allow the flow of current in one direction. So light emitting diode is a semiconductor uh, a light source that emit a light when current is flowing so i am showing you the cursor so the full form of led is light emitting diode so it is emitting a light okay uh, a light emitting diode is a semiconductor light source that emit light when current is flowing so when you are connecting any battery to this uh, led uh, the current will flow into it and uh, that is the reason whenever current flows through the led it glows okay so that is the reason we show the we see the light in that so uh, this is called led basically okay now uh, led is working on what voltage on what power so led is working uh, on a very low voltage that is from 1.7 volt to 3.3 volt so generally uh, the uh, the batteries which we are using the battery in the remote which we are using is the small batteries that is a 1.5 volt and the 9 volt battery we use in our generally robotics project the big 9 volt battery which is shown here in the circuit so uh, we we don't have this battery that is 1.7 to 3.3 volt specific battery we don't have so uh, we cannot directly connect this 9 volt to led without uh, this is called resistor without resistor. So if we want to power the LED uh, With a 9 volt battery. We have to use resistor in line so before uh, Using resistor we should know what is resistor actually. So what is resistor? So resistor is an electrical component used to resist the flow of current in the circuit so basically what problem we are facing here if you are not using resistor uh, because of the high power the more number of electrons more number of current amount of current will flow through the LED and LED will burst it will blow off okay if we are not using this resistor okay now due to resistor what it is doing is uh, it is not allowing the more amount high amount of current through the LED it resists it opposes the flow of current a flow of electrons and it it allow only desired amount of electron which is required to LED it allow the desired amount of power or voltage required to LED so that is the reason we required a resistor to use in series so why resistor is used in series because as LED is working on 1.7 to 3.3 power or voltage uh, if you want to make LED on with a 9 volt battery without connecting resistor if we want if we if we do that then led will blow off okay led will blow off because it will uh, it will not able to handle that much amount of current if you are not using resistor so that is the reason we use resistor in series of this battery so that resistor will oppose the excess amount of electron and the limited amount of electron will flow through the led and led will not blow off it will only glow it will give us a light okay so i uh, hope this is clear to uh, all the kids so if it is not clear if you have any doubt in this you can write it down your doubts and you can we can discuss during our skype call so we'll have a skype call as per your convenient time as per your doubts requirement so once in a week so as per uh, like uh, if you want uh, after completion of this uh, video if you want like you want to discuss you can send us a message whatsapp us that at what time the faculties are available and then the time will be given to you and then we can discuss your doubts so let's make the circuit of led on and off with a battery and resistor so that we can uh, have a better understanding now what we will do is we will do the practical of this uh, circuit which we have shown we have seen here in the previous video and previous slide so what we will do is we will make this circuit in the tinkercad software so that software we are going to use to make our circuits 
so to make this circuit we will use the tinkercad software let's have the introduction of tinkercad so we'll have the introduction of tinkercad so tinkercad software is useful to make different types of circuits online without hardware so basically this software has made our work very easy and uh, that help us uh, uh, to do the, all the practicals without hardware that is the most important thing so you you need not to buy any hardware and you need not to pay anything for it you just can use it the software so uh, kids you have uh, you have got this uh, classroom code so you must have received the classroom code and the nickname uh, of yours uh, for this tinkering class tinkercad classroom so uh, we have sent you the message of classroom code and the nickname that you can enter in the on that site so we'll, uh, i will show you which site you have, you have to go for so on that side you have to click and then uh, and then uh, what will the process that we'll discuss so to enter into the classroom uh, you need to go to this website that is tinkercad.com after that uh, as you click on this this uh, window will open on your site then you can click on the join now okay so here is the join now we, it is highlighted here so there you you need to click as you click on this uh, this window will come here you can uh, click on the students join a class so as you click on this uh, then uh, the it will ask you the, the code class code which we have sent you on your whatsapp or your mail so that you can type here and then you can write uh, then the the course which you have opt that name will come and you have you, you can you can write your nickname here and then the your uh, classroom will start so this is your classroom uh, layout uh, here you you need to go for the circuits because we are going to make the circuits so this click you will click this uh, circuit tab so as you click this circuit this uh, window will come and uh, after coming this window you can click on the try circuits okay so as you click on the try circuits the the circuit window will come and then uh, we'll discuss how to use it so reach to this tab and then uh, we'll discuss to the next one so as you uh, if you uh, as you click on that um, circuit try circuits this window will come and you will see the the one uh, the demo uh, circuit has made here so this we will delete it so how to delete it so just click on this so it will be highlighted and press delete key on the on your keyboard so it will go out same way click on this press delete so delete and register press delete so delete so this is your layout which you are going to use for your circuits so let's have the uh, discussion on the components so here all uh, your right hand side there will be a component list so the basic components we are going to use as resistor leds so what we have uh, uh, discussed in the theory that we will first uh, check out so there is a resistor this is led push button potentiometer that we have not discussed yet um, battery we have discussed and the other components are there that we will uh, discuss in the further uh, courses so what we will do is we will uh, have the resistor so to have the resistor just click on it and uh, just press on the key and drag it to the working area this is our working area so as you drag it it will come in the working area uh, so you can give the name here resistor name so this suppose I give you R1 or you can uh, give any name here and this is the value so the resistor is having its value value in the sense uh, we we need to measure we can measure the value of the resistance like we measure our weight uh, what is the weight of a human so if you if I ask you what is your weight you will say like 25 kg or 30 kg so kg is the unit that is the gram that is kilogram or the unit is gram for the weight same way the measurement of this uh, resistance so how much resistance it is having so that is one kilo ohm this is the unit of ohm so this is uh, r1 is one kilo ohm 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 is the unit ohm okay so ohm this symbol is called ohm h o h m okay so this one k k for kilo kilo means 1000 so 1000 ohm so this we have selected 1000 that you can do 
टेन थाउजेंड हंड्रेड थाउजेंड ऑफ थाउजेंड और वन थाउजेंड सेम वे यू कैन रिड्यूस इट ऑल्सो लाइक ओम यू कैन डू इट सो दैट विल बी अ थाउजेंड थाउजेंड ओके सो थाउजेंड ओम इट विल कम सो यू कैन डिसाइड योर वैल्यू सो हाउ वी विल डिसाइड दैट विल डिस्कस ना सो आर वन आई एम टेलिंग यू दिस नेम इज आर वन थाउजेंड ओम ओके दिस दिस यूनिट ऑफ ओम नाउ आई हैव टेकन द रजिस्टर नाउ दिस इज द कलर कोडिंग ऑफ इट लाइक वट इज द वैल्यू दैट यू कैन आइडेंटिफाई जस्ट बाई सींग द कलर्स ऑल्सो वे आर बट वी आर नॉट डिस्कसिंग राइट नाउ द कलर कोडिंग बिकॉज दैट विल टेक अ वेरी डीप अंडरस्टैंडिंग सो इफ यू वॉन्ट टू अंडरस्टैंड विल डिस्कस इट इन अदर लेक्चर नाउ द नेक्स्ट विल टेक इट ऑफ लाइक एल ई डी सो दिस इज एल ई डी सो आई विल गिव द नेम इज एज एल ई डी सो हियर यू कैन गिव द नेम एल ई डी and the uh, the red color led so you can have the options of colors like green uh, yellow uh, orange blue okay so that you can select so i am uh, selecting right now green so green led i have selected now battery you have the options here so 9 volt battery 1.5 volt battery so right now i am selecting a 9 volt battery because we want to uh, do the experiment on 9 volt so here i will name the one or battery here i can name the battery so so 9 volt battery resistor and led so now let's do the connections here so how to do the connection so very simple to do the connection here so just uh, now here uh, this led so we will discuss first so led the positive and negative we have to identify so this uh, this terminal which is not straight this is the positive and the straight terminal is negative so anode so highlighted point is anode anode is positive cathode is negative anode cathode anode cathode so uh, the here led connections is very important so if you are connecting reverse so if you are connecting positive to negative and negative to positive that will not make the led anode so let's do the practical so the let's have the positive of the battery to positive of the led like this okay then negative now first we will not use the resistor okay so let's see uh, without using resistor what will happen so positive and negative i have connected so what i did is positive to positive uh, positive of battery to positive of anode anode with positive of led negative with negative so if you do the reverse let's do the reverse first so that you will understand uh, the the problem uh, the the circuit is not working basically so i am connecting negative to positive and uh, positive to negative here so if you do this connection reverse connection uh, and if you do a simulation so here the the parts are so i am not discussing all the uh, tabs uh, right now so as we will use i will discuss so first you see this complete video and then you do the practical okay so this is the start simulation means it will start the circuit okay this is the code here code we are, right now we are not using because we are not learning programming so this tab will not be useful so this simulation i will do so if you do this uh, simulation started so here the time of simulation means uh, circuit is running uh, right now this is showing like that so uh, if you see the led is not glowing because the connection is reverse so let's stop this again and now do the uh, correct connection that is positive positive and negative negative so we will connect the positive positive and uh, negative negative so now if we do the start the simulation so let's see what will happen i have started the simulation so it's burst so this symbol is showing that it is burst okay now it is showing that current through the led is 915 milliampere so uh, current unit unit of current is ampere milliampere means it's divided by 1000 okay so it's a ampere milliampere so current inside this led is very high so uh, at, uh, the maximum current it can handle is 20 milliampere and right now current is flowing is 915 milliampere so that is the reason it blow off okay so that it is showing that how much current is flowing in that so uh, that is the reason we use we need to use this resistor so that uh, the current will not flow of 915 it will limit to 20 milliampere so let's stop it again so 
I am uh, deleting this and this again so uh, how to do the connection so just uh, connect the positive with positive or uh, yeah positive with positive and uh, how to do this connection that is uh, clear or not so just you need to click here so uh, click on the anode then drag so after clicking you can drag like this and click again on positive so that way you can select now the negative goes to resistor and resistor to negative so that way what will happen current will flow from this place to led to resistor to negative so now let's do the simulation again so simulation start led is on here so as you can see if i am stopping so led is off now led is on so in the resistor LED is uh, of, uh, glowing and resistor is there which is which has limited the current so now the current is below 20 milliampere and that is the reason it is not blowing off it is glowing only okay so in this way we can do the connection of simple LED with resistor and battery so it's a very simple task now you can try by yourself by going online uh, to this uh, classroom enter the class code and your nickname then your uh, web page will your classroom class notebook will open like this and then you can do the practical which we have discussed so let's do this practical and uh, save this practical after completion of this what you can do is you can go back like you can uh, after completion this is completed right so what you can do is you can go back uh, like uh, on clicking on this tinker cad so as you click on the tinker cad so you will go you will come to this again okay so again you can try the circuit or new circuit you can go for the instead of trying circuit so uh, this is your uh, this is your uh, circuit which you have made right now after completion of this uh, if you want to go for the new one so again click on this symbol so uh, follow my cursor and uh, click on this tinker code tinker cat symbol so you will uh, go back and you will create a new circuit so try circuits instead of going with a try circuit you can directly go with a new circuit so new circuit you will get the blank here so this is your new circuit page now you can give your name here like you want to do the LED on off okay so LED on off you can uh, write your name 